When MTV launched in 1981, it was an uphill fight. The idea of a channel showing music videos back to back was a hard sell to investors, advertisers, the cable houses, record labels, and even some musicians. In fact, when MTV first launched, it wasn't available in a lot of major markets like LA or New York. Instead, it would be available in smaller markets like the rural parts of the US because running cable in rural areas was a hell of a lot cheaper than urban areas. And one of the biggest cable houses in the US in 1981 was located in Denver, Colorado and called TCI. It was run by a conservative business guy named John Malone. Now John Lack, who was the guy who came up with the idea of MTV, recounted a meeting he had with Malone in the early 80s in which he tried to convince him to have his cable company carry MTV. Malone's response would be, this is sex, drugs and rock and roll, we're in little markets all over America, we can't put this on the air. Now Lack would try to explain how the number of cable subscribers would increase because people would want to watch MTV and the meeting would end with Lack being thrown out of Malone's office. Now another uphill battle the network faced was with advertisers. The first year of MTV being on the air, they only had sold $500,000 worth of advertising. The major players like Coca-Cola didn't think that MTV was a family-friendly environment. But one thing that was working for the company was that once people actually experienced MTV, they fell in love with the network. And the real key to having MTV breaking big was to have cable operators carry them. But they were having no luck. So MTV started to believe that the only way to get this to work was to go around the cable operators and go to the public and get them to demand that their cable providers add the channel to their service. Now MTV's original marketing campaign saw them come up with a couple catchphrases including cable brats and rock and roll wasn't enough for them, now they want their MTV. As well as the exploding 24 hour music cable network and stereo. Now taking these phrases, these ad campaigns were placed in trade publication magazines, but MTV wasn't happy with the results. The ad campaign would eventually morph into I Want My MTV, which borrowed its tagline from a 1950s children's serial named Mapo. And back in 1956, the tagline I Want My Mapo was used, and MTV had hired a guy named Dale Pond who used to work at WNBC and was now running his own ad agency. In the book I Want My MTV, the head of program services, Fred Siebert, recounted a story when the idea of I Want My MTV first came up saying, so we got into a presentation and George shows us pictures of Mick Jagger with a tear coming down his face going, I want my MTV. I was so pissed. I said to Dale, this is what I get? The third version of an ad from 30 years ago? We're going to have rock stars crying and Dale says, I'm not going to ask Mick Jagger to cry. That's stupid, but it's a really good idea. Trust me with this, he'd say. Now, it would turn out that the vice president of MTV programming, Les Garland, happened to know Mick Jagger personally, and the idea was to get Mick Jagger to do a promo spot saying, I want my MTV. Now, shortly afterwards, Garland would meet Jagger in France, and he would be reluctant to do an endorsement telling Garland in a meeting that the Rolling Stones don't do commercials. Garland would then bring up the time that Jovan Perfume sponsored one of the Stones tours, to which Jagger replied, claiming that the Stones were paid a lot of money for that. Now Garland would fire back and tell Jagger that MTV had no money, but if it was about money for the singer, he took a dollar out of his pocket and threw it on the table. Jagger would look up at Garland and say, I like you, I'll do it. The next day they shot the spot and soon afterwards other stars followed, including Pete Townsend of The Who and Pat Benatar, in addition to David Bowie. Now getting Mick Jagger and the other stars to agree to do the spot legitimized the network with cable houses and record labels as well as advertisers. Now here's the resulting campaign ads that MTV ran. Demand your MTV. I want my MTV. I want my MTV. I want my MTV. MTV, music, television, video, music, 24 hours a day. And it's call your cable company and say, I want my MTV. Now the ad campaign first hit Denver where TCI was located Within a day or so, the cable company was inundated with countless phone calls. Eventually, the cable operators gave in and added MTV to their lineup. And as the campaign continued in other cities, the network got added to more cable providers. In some markets, just the threat of running the I Want My MTV ads was enough of a threat for cable companies to roll over. So that does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you have suggestions for future stories, let me know in the comment section as well. And don't forget to like button and subscribe. Take care.